Hi guys, welcome back to the Hill Project. Uh, we are back with our weekly podcast. Boy, is this hot in England, isn't it? It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I don't get to, I don't, I never complain about the heat. Never. I never. I can't complain about the heat. Because I'd rather it be hot than cold. Have we ever said the whole yogurt story on the podcast? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Link likes the heat. Uh, Pete likes the heat. He's a, uh, you'd be happy just chilling in a nice warm country wherever you are. Yeah, he's used to being in his native land of Turkey, aren't you? <laughs> I, like, I like being, I don't, I don't do cold weather, I hate it. I hate cold weather. No, well, I'm going to tell you now, you're going to have to get used to it. Well, well, people can find that out eventually. That's a, that's a thing for the future, but you're going to have to get used to the cold weather, mate, at some point. You look confused. <laughs> I've just got a picture of the Northern Lights, is not Yeah, Northern Lights are happening anyway. Yep. I, I don't know what else to add to that. I haven't seen them. I've, I've, I've seen them on our Discord. I'm great. happy because it was going to cost me a holiday um, in February if we didn't see them soon. So I played the gamble and said, look, if we see them before then, we don't go away. In all fairness, she'd, she'd, she'd compromised and said, hey, we'll, we'll go on a holiday to... Uh, Scotland. Yeah. Didn't have to do one off the cross. Well, Although, having said I, that, I looked at the prices I've, of um, Iceland tickets, actually. Uh, plane I've tickets. They're done, not that bad, really. I did the Iceland trip uh, a few years ago. Yeah. Went over to Reykjavik, seen Northern Lights there, but she wouldn't see them again. I, guess I was going to say, prob- like, I think it's the like the travelling to Iceland's not too bad, is it? It's the, no. it's the stay in there that's quite expensive, I think. No, i tell you what I did. I think I paid... I went through, remember, like, Welsh and places like that? Right. I'd done a deal with them, and it cost me, I think it was about three, three about 400 for the pair of us for a long weekend with accommodation, so it wasn't that bad. No, that ain't bad. 400. I was... I was um... That was with flights as well. You you pay a bit while you're out there for food and that. It's not cheap, but while we're no, for a long together weekend, and that, it was all right. For a long weekend, you could literally... I, I'd struggle to take the kids to a haven for yeah. less than like 800 quid for a long weekend now. Yeah, it cost me like 400 quid for two of us for a long weekend. Flights to Reykjavik and back. I know, know which one I'd rather do. And it's well, not, I, not here. <laughs> it's not in this country. <laughs> you say Blackpool? No. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it was very really cold, but yeah. Boys have got a uh, a little uh, m- meet up in Blackpool at the end of August. Yep. Yeah, very much looking forward to that. If I if I can make it, up, I'll, I'll, I'll 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 stay I'll stay nearby, but it'll be a very last minute thing. Yeah, yeah. The boys, what was what's happened in this bash at Berlin and that? Yes. Yeah. So we yeah, bash Berlin. So bash. we won't. We probably won't be live for that pay per view like we normally are. Not as a watch long, but I'm sure you'll no doubt be live at some point over the weekend for it for something. <laughs> no, there'll be uh, there'll be a few drinks, so we'll see. <laughs> so, so someone will actually hit the go live button on the something. Thing is, I say I don't really drink, and um, we said that for Cardiff, and then I found a bar. So drink, and I was ne- knocking about quite quickly. So, yeah, we you can never tell. Yeah, I am yeah. driving that uh, week, that weekend. Same. So, uh, like the Friday night, I'll probably be drinking more so than the Saturday. What time you got? Uh, get, what time you got to be out on Sunday? Like half ten, a.m. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not drinking Saturday night because I'm driving back Sunday. And it's gonna no, be yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll you can go for it. You can go for lunch after or whatever, Saturday, and so. you'll be you'll be fine yeah. to drive home after that. As long yeah. as you don't get like absolutely blotted, <laughs> which I, I, I mean, yeah, we have in, internet proof that we we can't necessarily not do that. We do. Um. Well, it's what Friday night's for, isn't it? Yeah, put your poisons. Yeah. The, old, the old days. Back in the <laughs> old days. Um, Before I remember, last week I nearly forgot. Nearly forgot to our draft scores. And we've had a new Fandangle system popped up. Sitch has worked really, really hard on getting the things with, with, with her husband. And they've made us a lovely spreadsheet for our drafts. Our picking our wrestlers and then getting scores based off of it. And so far... I've now even got a list of our current top 10 wrestlers. 
there's there's a bunch on four and i'm probably sure there's probably more than the ones that are on four outside of the ones we've got but in our top five now the people that have scored the most points so far in this thing moxley and claudio castagnoli are top with eight points as a tag team austin Gunn and jay white second bianca biet belair's now third i mean that's that's pretty impressive because obviously she just won the the tag titles actually so. mm -hmm. yeah jay white fourth by himself that is so he's jay, jay white scores you 11 points by himself basically he's, that's pretty uh, good and swerve good. swerve and brian cage both on five um, now, you'd probably put notice that a lot of those are, uh, those are links if you've been watching them from the start, but... Two of the top three. So. I'm going to pop it up now. Draft scores on the screen. Previous scores from, la from the last few weeks. 28. Oh, no, I've messed that one up. 28. There you are. 28, 26, and 58. So I'm on 28. Pete was on 26, and Link was on 58. You may notice they're a little bit different than previous weeks, but we re re recounted them and actually put in the right scores again. Um... But this week's scores, Link has scored nine. I have scored 12. And Pete, you scored 15 this week. Oop. Nice. Yeah, I came last this week. Yeah, so you are. First time. I've, take... I've beat you both from every week. This yep. week you've both beat me. So. so Pete, for you, Bianca scored your four points just this week. And uh, Damien Priest also scored me four points this week. Because uh, obviously I've got him as a singles and a tag. Uh, and I am currently sat on 44 now. Pete, you're only three behind me on 41. And Link is... Been pegged back a little bit, but he's still on 67. So, hell, that's, that's still a... That's still a mighty yeah. good number to be doing. To be it sat is. On. 23 point lead. That's, uh, I think that was my score two weeks ago. 23 points. So... Basically, it's, an entire it's week still, ahead. It's still doable. Yeah. Well, that's only that's only we're only five weeks in. Uh, there's other people that haven't necessarily done all that great, and there's other people that also are going to come into play. I feel like somebody like Charlotte Flair might play a good part for me towards the end of the year. Um, there's plenty of people. Have, have I got a list of who's got who on this? I'm not not entirely sure. I have. Oh, I have. Uh, oh no, that that'll. I don't want to touch things just in case I break things. Sorry, Titch. Not going to touch your spreadsheet and mess it up. But I think there's going to be people that are going to be injured. We've had ended up with a few that we. Yeah, I was about to say I was and then they got injured and away. Um, like, I've got Sting and Darby like, Allen. It looks like MJF's going to be out for longer than I wanted because I had MJF. I think he's probably going to be about the same sort of time span as Charlotte. To be honest, mate. Mm. As a... <laughs> I had an interesting one this week on AEW because I got the best friends team of Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta. Yeah. They had a match against each other this week. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. <laughs> this is so it. I was going to win regardless. Yeah, you, get, so. you, you got a point for that. That was nice. There's, there's, there's definitely a couple of things that aren't quite 100% because I just realised someone else is missing off the top 10 that should probably be the... Well, the top ten, um, I'm not too fussed about if it's if it's if it's there. Because all, all this is automatically generated now, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it, and the same with like the our, our names in the list. So, in so the if last one, of you overtakes each other, you'll actually move up mm. and, and take the right position. It's, it's it's really cleverly done. I missed SmackDown in the end. Did Bianca have a match on SmackDown? Yes, they had and she won, tag and match. that's that's why she got the extra point. Oh, it was it eight women tag match one way? Something like yeah. that, and that's why I can see match. Bianca and Naomi barely got score points for you two. Yeah, which was quite nice. Solo Solo Co actually did quite well. That was interesting. That that was that scored Link two points, but also scored me two points. That was quite cool. Just, I've yeah. got him, I've got him as a singles, and Link's got him as a as as a tag. Um, yes, yeah, so that was what week five, aren't we? And Pete, I mean Pete, got a point from Jay Uso, but so did Link because he's got Jimmy and Jay. That's the Uso. I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that. Lexus King picked me up a point now, so I'm pleased with that. Who's an oh Ricky Starks and Big Bill got a point for you, Pete. Boop, boop. 
Yeah. Who so... are no longer a tag team either. No, no. no. But hey, that's points. And Pete Bailey, Bailey got you three points this week. Good old Bailey. Yeah. Okay. I knew she'd do well this year. Yeah, it's just a shame that WWE don't seem to want to push her at all. Like she's she's not on any of the posters again. It's it's bizarre. Well, the only one that's had come out is SummerSlam on so far, isn't it? But the thing is, that was already. I see the poster. Was I thought that was rear on when you said it. Peter that's well, a no yeah. one. That was when it first came out. Yeah. But she um, wasn't on the Mania was... one either. Which was no, weird. she wasn't. Nah, no, but yeah, the SummerSlam one's been out for ages. I'd be surprised. If she doesn't, if if she doesn't get on to the official um, Clash at the Castle one, because yeah. of how over she, her chant gets over here. Yeah, it's, it's, let me have a look. It's I'll, be honest, I, I, I'll be oh, honest. I'll be honest. I think the reason. Well, I've doing just seen. It. I've just seen what it's. It's Drew Cody. It's just Drew, isn't it? Yeah. Jay Uso. Cody. I think the reason. And doing and it. the new tag team women's champions. I think it yeah, kind of makes sense in a way. Make sense. Stop pushing well, Jay Cargill. I hate it. <laughs> I think the reason they're gonna, not going to push Bailey yet, I don't think they've settled on a decent main event for her to be in yet. I think as soon as they do, if they once they get her up against Tiffany Stratton, I think they'll they'll start postering her and they'll really start I think pushing they'll post her. Post to Tiffany Stratton. I, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, think, I don't think it'll be Bailey. I, and, I think and... them two will be on the poster. I don't know what that's about. It's a weird one. It is a she's weird their, one. She's their world champion. Yeah, the same as Damien Priest, to be fair. In all fairness, so looking at that, that clash at the castle, though, that is all faces, though, at the minute. With well, Drew's, a, Drew, Drew's an odd one. He's, he's, he's a heel, but he's a face because he's in Scotland. So, And the Summer Slam pick, I kind of get that in a way as well. Well, the Summer Slam one pick. makes sense with Logan and The Miz. Yeah. You've got uh, the women's tag team champs that? they're going to push. That's fine. And Rhea and Cody. Rhea's an odd one, but that was obviously done because that was done before. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of made sense in a way because they were. Gonna, I thought they were going to have Bianca and Jade on there because they were. I thought them two would be in a match, but it's um, it's one of those. It doesn't. It doesn't sit quite right with me. But... Yeah. It doesn't satisfy me. And um, that's that's today's topic, boys. I want to talk to you about satisfying things. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about Where it. How can we go with it? It's nothing to do with um, happy endings Cats. or anything like that. Wow. Wow. Wait until they see the suck-up video in a couple of weeks. Um... <laughs> that's actually throwing me. I was mowing my lawn today, and uh, I was just thinking, there's, there's all sorts of random things. I just want to see if these if these satisfy you or not. I, or I've gone through cracks dot com. Um, Thirty three things that are insanely satisfying that shouldn't be. I just okay. I've got one already. But... Okay, but number thirty three. Uh, waking up. This never happens to me. Waking up refreshed a few minutes before the alarm is the best. Do you know what? Is that, is that, a, is that a fair statement? I woke up half hour half hour earlier this morning just laid there and chilled. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was, it was all right. It was all right. I don't do it very often. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm wide awake. I'm waking up. So it's, I was going to say, I'm with you, Luke. Uh, uh, to be fair, I wake up before my alarm because I have little children. <laughs> I'm not allowed to sleep to my alarm. Uh, so I've, I've woke up uh, the last three days early because either it's too hot yeah. or my dog's been headbutting me for his breakfast. Okay, same so, same as little children then. Yeah, <laughs> my my five year old likes to come in and just Glasgow kiss me. <laughs> Get up, make me a brioche. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one is an absolute no no for me because I've got an absolute like uh sets me off, makes me all feel all weird as ice. But the gratifying crunch of cracking ice puddles. That one yeah, for I you? Quite like that. Oh, no, not really. I can't. I just can't. Like, like if my kids have an ice pop, I can't even be in the same room, man. I like I like lobbing big rocks into the into the into the canal and stuff when it's frozen over as well. That, I don't mind. I give you that. I don't mind that. But like a slow crack, it makes me. Ugh. Ah, if I fully hunt oh, no, there's, no, there's never a slow crack. It's always the, it's always the big crunch as you first like. No, do you know what I hate it when you when you're trying to put something in a freezer and it scrapes along the I like that. It scrapes along the ice in the freezer. 
No, I don't ah. like it. It makes my hands cold. Yeah. No, I just don't like that sound of that. Mm. No. Oh, no. Mm. no, gross. What about... It's like walking on grass when it's frosty and you feel it crisp. Yeah, I don't like that. Right? Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh. I don't like that. Although I quite like that on some, some days because when I used to coach football, it meant yes, frozen football pitch. Don't have to get up and to get, up, get up and actually coach properly this morning. Football's off. Yes, so it was satisfied in a weird way. Sounds like a good thing. It, it, it does on a freezing cold day. You're like, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Not today. Uh, there may be nothing more satisfying than sitting in the tub as it fills up. No. no that's just mental. No. No, you're, you're freezing cold. I used to do that. Especially on a day like today when it's hot. But as just what, what, a cold tub. One, no, no, no. Because I'd, I'd have a shower. And I'll just put the blog in and sit down. <laughs> That's fair. I actually don't mind that. When you phrase it like that, I don't mind that. What about having an entire bus to oneself? That's what it says. And it's got a picture of Freddie Mercury on a bus for some reason. And it's a very weird picture. I wish I could that show you. bizarre, but I, uh, I'll take your word for it. What about that? Having an entire bus to oneself. So being that... sat on public transport, full stop, is a no for me. So you're chauffeur driven in a bus. Do you not feel weird? Exactly. <laughs> I feel re- I, I had it once, and that's <laughs> literally from once because I got so... on at the very first stop, and like the main stop in my town is the second stop along that route. But I got on for the very first one, so just going from there to there made me feel weird. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, if I did that, I would have to sit right the, on the bottom <laughs> deck, right <laughs> in the driver. middle. Just staring. Hi. <laughs> just not saying a word. Just sitting there staring at him. Uh, that's uh, links. Links just like that's not satisfying at all for me. No, it's on a bus. What about now? You boys might like this one. What about the magical gift wrap glide with the scissors? You get that. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. That, that's a good one. That is a good yeah. one. And it's perfectly straight still. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, care if it's straight or not. As long no, as yeah, I'd have to. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be straight. It just, just, just as long as it's smooth. Uh, it's when it yeah. acts, when it gets caught, and you're like, ah, oh, it ripped. <laughs> uh, I mean, this one says cutting a perfect slice of cake, but for me, that's just the whole thing. Like, yeah, why would you I, cut it? What's a slice? <laughs> to give someone else a tiny. <laughs> that's bit like a little, uh, like think, pastry, yeah. like p- pasty type thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what slices to me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't heard my one yet. I'm thinking. Oh, we're only on twenty-seven, mate. Looking up at the clock at work and discovering that it's the way it's way later than I thought. No, because that never happens. And then you go to look five <laughs> minutes later. You go, you think it's an hour later, but it's only five minutes it's later five after minutes that. Later. I, I used to have that a lot. Well, you go, it's gone really quick today, and then you go, now I've mentioned that, it's going to go slow for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Now, this one, maybe not taffy, but maybe like a good starburst, something like that, but the glory of unwrapping a starburst without leaving any of the paper residue on it. Yeah, the, I hate the paper on it. Yeah, I, 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 I quite like that. I don't really eat sweets, pop, pop. if I'm honest. Fair enough. Finally getting a human voice on a customer service call. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just press loads of numbers until yeah. it happens. I don't care what they want to say. If like I just want to talk to someone. I don't want to hear <laughs> the the automated voices. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the thing is by that point you so no, no, I wouldn't even put that on the sat side, because by that point you're probably so disenfranchised with the whole thing that you know damn well that within a couple of seconds of that call, you're going to be so irate with the person anyway, they're going to hang up on you. Do, do we so. review <laughs> the whole, you know when you have to talk to say what you want? Do yeah, you deliberately stay silent to robot. just to see if it works and actually gets through to someone? No, I normally just shout, I want to talk to someone. <laughs> what about running a sponge across a dirty dish? No. But like you know, when you get an actual, when you actually get a clean streak. Sorry, sorry. You are you asking streak. me? Are you telling me that cleaning and washing up is satisfying? No. I wouldn't know unless I can't see inside my dishwasher. Yeah. Nah, it's, You've it's never wiped a plate off with a sponge, though. Oh, no, I, 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 I rinse when you just clean through right through the middle, and you've left the bits down the side, and they're just like, no, literally, I, I rinse anything off in the, under a tap and in front of the dishwasher. I just even that, even that, when when you know, like when you run it off. It, under yeah, a tap yeah. and that middle it's bit clean. goes clean you're yeah. like oh that's quite satisfying or not clean but mm. clear it's, it's, it's a definite no for me what about you know when you've got a bit of distance and you throw a little oof straight into yeah. a bin that anything is good yeah okay that one no, I'll give you that one oof. yeah oh yeah oh yeah mm. what about having a full, fully charged phone battery oh but you're just having a when, what 
yeah, just having your phone when it's on f- fully been charged up. You take it off charge, you don't have to worry about your cable. It's still on charge. It's nice when you take it fully off charge, though, when you're just like, never, oh. I never unplug it. It's always plugged in. I might as well have a landline again. Well, I like it. In fact, I, I say that. Mine is also on charge. Yeah. I, I, but I like it when is, I've been... Uh, it is fully charged, mine, mine was. I like it when I've, like, I've been sat like that on my phone for ages, and I'm like, oh, 100%. And then I carry on. Like, I can put my finger on the um, on the on the lock screen. Yeah, I mean the the fact that the the charger's plugged in at the bottom of my phone, and I quite often sit like resting with my phone, sort of like that. Like, yeah, just sort of chilled out. Yeah, I quite like the fact that I can unplug it every now and yeah. again to use my phone. I I don't know if it's really satisfied. You're like, but it, it really makes me anxious when it starts to run out, and it really runs me up. Yeah. Mine died at eighty percent yesterday. I was very confused. Very confused by it. Because like, you leave it on charge twenty four seven. Yeah, you've actually <laughs> broke the battery. A bit. <laughs> what about? There's nothing more satisfying than catching a falling item. And I'm going to what up this. You know the ones where you're not even looking, and it falls off the side next to you, and you go like that, and you catch it, and you're like, yeah. no. wait, am I? Hang on, am, am I Spider Man? <laughs> am I Spider Man? Oh, I love yeah. those moments. It's, I do like those. They don't happen very often. No, but it's one of those you you do look around see how many catch things. You just like catch things. You just go, oh. Yeah, she's already landed on my toes. If I ever do it at work, I do look around see if someone else has seen it as well, just in case. Yeah, give a little nod. See that? They're like, I saw that. Although when I when I when I dash a piece of ham across the across the kitchen and the dog manages to catch it midair rather than it falling <laughs> on the floor, that that is yeah. pretty satisfying. You can't get any hammy residue on your floor. Yeah. Yeah. What about when you when your pet sit long enough for a photo? Apparently, I wouldn't say satisfying. This is like fake fuck for that. Has that ever happened? <laughs> oh, I like this. I'm what, just in the backside. what if you like look at any display at the right moment when you get like maybe like consecutive numbers or maybe re- numbers going in reverse? You're like, or, or even when I looked at it the other day and it was, what was it? It must have been, I think it was 11 minutes past 11. I was like, oh, I hit 3,333 miles in my car and had to take a photo because I was very impressed with it. I got a lot out. I'd have yeah, been, been very proud of it. It was, a, it was a like, yeah. Thing was, he was on the middle of the motorway when he took it. <laughs> Thing is, he had to stop just in case it went over in the middle of the motorway. I, I, I did, I did stop. I'm not gonna lie, I pulled over just to the picture. Oh, but not in the middle of the motorway. That's right. What about? No, when it you, wasn't in the middle of the motorway. What about? It was you, get an, you get an Oreo and you twist <laughs> it. You perfectly twist open. No, um, I just eat the whole thing. Uh, same, mate. I'll be honest. I'm just going <laughs> yeah, off of what this article says. I'm like, far too lazy for that. It just goes into milk and into me gob. Well, that's it. Oh, that's an interesting thought. <clears throat> when you crack your knuckles, do you, no. are, you, are you knuckle crackers? Non stop. My, what about my wrist when, sounds when it, like a cement mixer. So well, when no, one, one, one squeeze and you get all four, all four of your ones just crack perfectly, is what they're reckoning? Yeah. I. I Hopefully that's great for people. I feel like I've got arthritis, so probably not for me. My dad's got arthritis. Uh, what about when a car tries to pass you, but then you just end up sat next to him at the lights instead? I find that really, like, really funny. After I've normally yours. screamed and swore at him a few times, <laughs> as I get behind him, I'm like, yeah, what was the point in that? But I feel like I'm shouting it, and then no one else can hear. And then punch that delivery box. I'll- I like it when they, I like it when they overtake me. I pull up next to them on the lights on the on the left, and then I outdo them on the lights as well. So, <laughs> and then it's a filter later. They end up back behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. What about putting on a pair of socks that are like just fresh out of the dryer or just perfectly clean? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Crispy fresh clean socks. I don't. I, I I can't reach my feet for the socks on. So I love a fresh pair oh, of socks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. What about paying an odd, odd amount with an odd amount? So, like, you pay the and the ten pounds and something, but then make sure you only get like a one pound back or like a like a five pound note back or something like that. No. I, I do that all the time. Like my so whenever I pay like my credit card bills and things like that, I'll always pay the extra up your to credit make card sure debt? that I have exactly like a hundred pounds or two hundred oh, yeah. pounds or three hundred pounds left after everything's cleared. 
Nice. <clears throat> hey, I yeah, think... I do that all the time. That was terrible. Cause that's not satisfying. That be weird, weird. No, no, this one. Finding out that I, a restaurant I love will will let me order online. That's just no. called like convenient. That's not satisfying. I don't, I, I don't know any of it doesn't deliver online because I don't go out. <laughs> I feel like you're the, I feel like you're the wrong subject matter over here. If I can't, I can't lie. <laughs> oh, what about that moment that even though you got cars coming what towards you, you press the lo the button on the lights, and as soon as you press it, they instantly start changing to go green. Oh, I love that. Cause it annoys people. Yeah, you're like. Not even a moment to wait. And I don't know why they, they're like... Because they, the cars could be around. Or, like... Why is it done that? It's just because the lights haven't changed for so long, usually, that it's just like, okay. Yeah, why not? There you go. But yes, I, I do I do like look, the crosses where you can press the button and instantly change the lights. Because I, I, I'm one of them people that will press the button as I'm walking past and not actually crossing. Just and then the you'll get people. mad at those people when you're the one that's driving. Oh, of course, yeah. This one's for the nerds out there, but what maths is boring, but it does feel good when I solve an equation correctly. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I've definitely had satisfaction from doing math in the past, as, as weird as that sounds. This is a weird one, but I kind of get it. Unclogging a sink and watching the filthy water being drained away. Yes. Yeah. 100% I, yes. I get that. Like, when it's completely clogged up and you, you fix something, you're like... Ah. I am man! Yes! So for, so for me, it's... Do you know if you've ever had that... This, you sink blocked because you've poured grease or whatever down the sink. <laughs> and then you put on the hot tap. Allegedly. And, just, and, just and, eventually, and you put on the hot tap and you eventually just watch it melt away. Just boop! <laughs> it all just go... Glug, 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 glug. Well, that and moment like, yeah, <laughs> where you put down too much tissue paper down the toilet <laughs> and it goes... Pop! pop yeah. And it just goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Um, oh, you'll like this one, actually, Link. It's beyond amazing to wake in the morning to discover someone else has made coffee before I've even opened my eyes. That happened to you with Phil. <laughs> Phil did that for you. Yeah, I, I live on my own, so it doesn't happen for No, but, it, but, but Phil did it for you. <laughs> yeah, Phil yeah, but I, I live with my wife. It never happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, I like cold coffee as well, so it's perfect, because I slept for another, like, three hours after he made it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we went off and did all sorts of things. That sounds weird. No, I'm just going to stop that there. Yeah, of course you did. This is a weird one, but I can imagine, like, it's not going to apply to any of us, I don't think. I don't know what Link gets up to on a Saturday night. Um, a sense of accomplishment washed over me when I peel off nail polish in one go. Now I don't oh. know what oh, that is, yeah. but I'm like, oh, yeah. I, can, I can, I can get that. I can, I'm down. No, no, no. For, for me, it's more. It's, it's like you know the, the PVA glue when you peel it off, it, it comes off in one big piece of your hand or whatever. You're that kid that instead of it's art time and Link's just there in the corner, just going like this with the PVA glue. Put it on himself. He's, he's actually gone into the cupboard instead of using the little spatula things. He's gone and got one of the big brushes for the painting and just painted himself. No, I was glue. sat in the corner eating the paste. Pete was in the corner huffing it. <laughs> uh, what about shelling a walnut and getting it all in one piece? I don't really, I don't really buy like full nuts very often, to be honest with you. It's... No, I don't buy full nuts. <laughs> no. I like to empty my nuts. Uh... Uh... When my cat, how is this at number six? When my cat lies on top of me or next to me and starts purring. No. Ooh, what about the heavenly crackling, the sound of dry leaves under your feet in the middle of autumn? I was saying I don't mind that. That's quite it's quite nice. better. Right, you, it's 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 either that or soggy leaves and they're horrible. Yeah, there's a, there's a point where it's <sighs> acceptable, and then there's a point where it's just like, nope. I found a bag that I thought I'd thrown out of garden stuff today. And it was leaves from like three months ago, because that was meant to go in the green in like the green garden waste bins that's supposed to go. And I didn't have room. And I was like, I'll put those out on the next lot. So by that point, that was a bag of nope, right? No, it was still leaves, but worms and all sorts of grown underneath it, and they'd got in. Oh, it was 
I just scooped it up and just put the whole lot in, including the bag. I thought it was a bag of nope. Yeah, it was a yeah. bag of nope. Um, funny enough, number four, pulling the glue off mail and other assorted items. So of what? Glue off mail oh. and other assorted items. Yeah, like, you know, like you get a box with you no know, all the labels on there, and I have to try and pull. pull or you like get your, oh, your like new a, debit like a gift card. Yeah, 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 card. yeah, 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 yeah. Your new yeah, debit yeah. card and whatever. Yeah, that that sort of glue. That's quite a good one. Oh, yeah, I found I thought something very similar, but you might have it on there actually. Oh, I like this one. What about that, this? Could apply to regular traffic lights too. What about? I've got two. No, that can't work with traffic. That couldn't work with traffic lights actually. But the railroad crossing gates. Clothes in your rear view mirror just as you drive through. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had that happen before. Anything that hinders That's other nice. people is yeah. great. And you're like, oh, just missed me. Nice. Number two, the sight of someone pressure washing a filthy floor. This is me. This is me. This is this is where I am. I Yes, pressure washing fills me with... So- it is. Joy. Pressure washing is good. Well, as, you, so as you go across, you see, you see it perfectly clear. I've got two written down that better be on there. Lawn mowing's not on here, so we're on to one now. It, we're on to oh. one. Well, Lord Moen is not on there. I was so surprised. Like, it is my absolute, like... Well, if I want to just zen out, like, that's my place where I can go, right, I'm going to mow my lawn yeah. because I can just shut off and I can just go slowly up and down, one line, back, and back, back to my big garden. That, was, that was a definite brag. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was awful. Long. But the other one, Pete, I reckon this could be it. What about, I don't know, like, let's just say... Let's say, you know, like when it's perfect and it slides in perfect. No, I do like that. An I item, like, per, uh, like <laughs> items that don't necessarily go in, or even if they do, I suppose, they don't necessarily go into the right place, but they slide in. Like they're made by, to fit. Like literally millimetres, and they're not necessarily designed at all times. But that satisfying thing when you just sl- slide it in, like. It's hard to show you because I've got crap everywhere. I'd show you with my camera. <laughs> in my office. I've got a wall there and like a small wall there and it literally perfectly fits my whole desk and one filing cabinet with about that much to spare. And it wasn't built like for, for it. It was actually in a different room of the house and I was just like, will that fit? Just. And that's, right, that does satisfy me. There's two that should be on there. Go on you know when you get a brand new phone or anything... And you know that protective layer of screen that's at the front? Yeah. I have to peel that off. That is absolutely amazing. I love it on anything. <laughs> the peel like, and I know fans. people I know people that sure are, I are saying, you know you have to leave it on there. And I'm like, no, no, it's gotta come off. And the other one, if I see bubble wrap laying around, I cannot leave it without picking up and just twisting bubble wrap. Twist. Oh, you're a wrap. twister. Pop in a twist in bubble wrap, yeah. Nah, no, no, that thing for me. There's two different no, no, no. Of people. There's no, the no, ones that will individually yeah, no. pop each bit. The now there's one. the ones that they're just lost to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to pop it, like, and I'm not satisfied until every bit's done. Plus, you're you're that type of person. I know yeah. people that, that they'll do it, but they'll do. No, the the film on something brand new and bubble wrap oh, all day. I could okay. do it all day long. Anyway, there's any that I've got that. I think they're two of the most satisfying things. Diving in to a, a smooth or like perfectly pool. still pool. Yes. It, it, yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, in I fact, love it. my love it. My kid went swimming on Thursday and she was the very first person to get in the pool and uh, it was perfectly smooth. And I, I just watched her sort of drop herself in and I was like, that looked good. <laughs> that looked really good. <laughs> Link would hate this one, but Dan, you're 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 vouching on this one. You know when you you hit a volley, and it's just that sweet. Oh, spot? you won't understand that one, Link. But the uh, <laughs> but the, oh, the sweet oh, spot. the volley of a football is just. And you know you've hit it perfect. In fact, you might do, Link, because you're totally the. the Totally the guy, oh, fuck your football, so I have swore, with 34 yeah. minutes in, what does it matter? Yeah. But, but yeah, as you football, kick it, it just boots it away, you but you catch perfect. it completely whilst it's flying through the air, and you catch it and just send it back. Yeah. But like 10 times as hard, yeah, that's good. It'd be, that's like, a good it'd one. be like baseball, but with a football in your foot. It's, Essentially, you hit, that's what it is. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Even that, baseball's a good one, when it, when you, when it catches it completely clean, you go, ping. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is a good one. That is a good one. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's a good one. I actually like that one. I wouldn't even thought about a a, a, a cheeky body. 
just the, the, the sensation of straight away before it's even gone to it, you're like, yeah, that's good. Now, throwing something from really high up and listening to that bang as it hits the floor. <laughs> It's, it's, or splat, depending on what it is. I was going to say, but as long as it's on the way down, they're not scre- it's not screaming that it's fine. No, 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 it needs to be quiet. It needs to be a quiet. <laughs> That's all right, then. Then Just a boom. <laughs> just me throw person <laughs> off cliff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bye, Dan. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It wouldn't be, it would make it more of a. Oh, I've as I hit the ground, one. it wouldn't be very loud. You know when you know when you're. Um, That's what you land on. You know when you're queuing Pete. up at a check. Uh, supermarket and the queues are massive the queues yeah. are massive and you and just another you, one opens. You, you clock oh he's the best you, for it you go to the very next one you know that you're the first person there but, or you're literally everyone else has put all their stuff out on the on the tills yeah, and, and then someone like, comes yep. out and goes do you want to start queuing at number two do you want to start the queuing at number two yes i do and the guy in front of you is like bastard <laughs> If only I hadn't started unloading already. And like, yeah, really thank problem. you. And like, you know, at that point, everyone behind you has to let I, you go I, first. I always, you're I always at the front of that past. queue, and you're like, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> and I always go past and go look at the queue that I've just, I was in, and then see where I would have been a good. But then what you also do is you have a little look behind you, and the person behind you is like, <laughs> yeah, because they're they're going to get second in the queue instead of being fourth or fifth or whatever. They're just or, as happy as you, uh, for you. They're like, yeah, crack on. you got all the time in the world one, now. This ain't really one that makes you... F- it is, but I, it's something I've learned to do. Every time I go into a supermarket and I've only got like one or two items, I will go up to someone who's nearly nearly like at the end, like nearly starting theirs. I make sure they've got a massive long amount on the bar, on the till. And they'll let you go ahead. And I will stand there with just like one or two things in my hand. Go ahead. Did you want to go? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I like that. That's, good. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, because to be fair, I I I, I do that to people. I love like, they've got two, one or two items. Just yeah. one, jump ahead. That's yeah. fine. Wouldn't do it maybe if it was multiple people doing it, but <laughs> I'd, I'd I'd never, I've never had it. What was that I'd like? look strategically. I'd do it for <laughs> yeah, but you just said you don't go out. Some scams over <laughs> yeah. there, bugger off. Like, go away. Yeah. Although having said that, we've only just got a self scan at my Audi. So. A lot of some of our, some of mine don't actually have them down there still. We've only just. Oh, yeah. There's this. It's very rare to actually get a a checkout anymore. Like obviously, you know, I used to work on a checkout. Mm. So to to see that half the the staff from the okay. place that I used to work at aren't there anymore, and it's just a bunch of robots, yeah, is it's weird. Yeah. It's a bit heartbreaking as well, to be honest with you. It's uh, a lot yeah. of people have lost jobs because of those machines. Yeah. It's, uh, do you know one more thing on those ones? When they don't tell you off, those machines are like that's a satisfying one. You know when they don't go place the item in the back of the area. I'm like, I have it's there, and you know you, you just lift it up them. and put it back down. I hate them. Uh, I t- I'll tend to go through with a trolley if I can, and I'll, and rather than putting anything on the belt, I'll scan it. I'll put it straight in the trolley, and then I'll click. I do not want to bag this item. Like every single every single item, just so that I don't have to deal with the weighing scales. That's fair. I've never I've never really bothered with that because it's just, yeah. And plus, That's I fair. only scan like one in every three item. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Link's most satisfying thing: <laughs> the five finger discount. Um, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Let us know. Turn in the comments below what your most satisfying random thing is. That was a way longer podcast than I expected. Oh, but hey, that's it, wicked. It's when you it's when you walk up to the cigarette counter. Oh god. With a crate of beer. Oh god. And you put it on the counter. Yeah. And you order your cigarettes, and they only charge you for the cigarettes and not the beer. Because they thought you've already paid for it. Another one. They think you've already paid for it. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the best feeling. It's when you buy a, a bin for like nine ninety nine. But you stuff it full of DVDs. Yeah. So when they're oh, scanning DVDs. <laughs> DVDs. What year are we, Link? This is 2024, mate. So when they scan it, 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 it goes across DVD. your device and deactivates everything so it doesn't leap on the way out. So all you've got to do is go on eBay to find a DVD player. Because they don't sell them anymore. <laughs> I don't. I... I don't do that. So okay, let okay. us know. I, 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 work, I worked there a long time ago, okay? <laughs> let us know okay I used your... to work on security, so I know all the tricks. Let <laughs> us know in the comments what your most satisfying buys are at car boot sales. 
Because uh, that's clearly where you're going to need to buy your DVD players. I've been watching a lot of car boot sale stuff recently. Brilliant. It's really fun. Man, we can talk yeah. about that next week. We are 40 yeah. minutes into this podcast. Oh, but bye, everybody. Thanks yeah, for sticking with us. Here. Talk to us in the comments about what you like to borrow from shops. We could be here all night otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Long term borrowing. It's the way forward, everyone. Uh, do the things that are by Pete, both sides of him. And uh, please leave a like. Well, yeah, please leave a like, share, subscribe. Uh, Tell us whether that you... like button did that thing that it does. Yeah, no one's actually told us. Does the like thing do the thing when it when you're on desktop? But we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Uh, which button? That one.